Hello fellow collectors, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles and let me be one of the very first people to wish you a very happy new year. I can't believe it. January of 2021, we're finally here and probably the most requested thing over the last couple months has been, hey Chris, why haven't you done a new room tour? Uh, the last one we did was in May of 2020. And now it's time. Uh, I have added a whole bunch of new pieces. Some pieces have come and gone, but uh, there's always new pieces coming into the Batcave, which is always very exciting. And so I wanted to share you my current version of the Batcave again, January 2021. Can you believe we're finally here? And I'm very, very excited to share these incredible new statues and the full room tour um, with you guys this year. I'm very, very excited. But before we do that, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and click that notification bell. Make sure you choose all. That way you don't miss any of this content. Thank you to all my new subscribers this year. And without further ado, let's check out the room tour. All right, guys, going down the stairs now into the back cave. And let's see what is new and what is the same. Well, the entrance is the same. Uh, if you watched the last video, you know I have my Shakespeare bust out here as kind of my entrance. Um, I love this bust, but I am hoping to maybe put a Batman statue out here at some point. Uh, that's my goal. And then, of course, I still have the Alex Ross print. I absolutely love this print. Uh, it is a joy every single time I come down to the Batcave to be able to see this thing. And uh, it's just such an amazing, beautiful print by Alex Ross. And speaking of art, I am a bit disappointed in myself. I have not put up any art on the wall like I wanted to. Um, that's still going to be a work in progress. But uh, you also notice this cabinets out here. So I bought this for like 15 bucks. Um, it was in great condition. And I thought, man, I could really fit a lot of statues in here. It's behind glass. I put it right in front of my closet and it fit. Um, but it just didn't match the rest of my cabinets that I've built. So it kind of sticks out, stands out. And so I pulled it out of the back cave. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it quite yet. Um, but probably go in storage, maybe use it, maybe not. We'll see. If you guys have any good ideas for it, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you also notice a lighting rig back there. It's part of my lighting rig for the reviews and things. Um, had to get it out of the way. So let me spin it around here. And the moment you've all been waiting for, let's check out the Batcave. Here we go. Let's walk in. And here it is. Let me do a quick pan for you guys. All right, pan it over this way, and some of the white shelves there, and then again, the moment you guys have been waiting for, I know you guys really want to see this collection. Of course, I'm going to give you all the close-ups and talk about my display ideas, but again, let me do a quick pan here of what the Batcave looks like in January of 2021. And I am actually going to turn on an extra light, so it might wash things out just a little bit, guys. But uh, it's going to show off the details just a little bit better. So I want to show you, uh, first off, I'm going to go ahead and close the Batcave door here. And I'm going to show you my brand new cove that I did. So this is the little cove behind the door. But look what I did. I made a Three Jokers CGC wall. Uh, I do apologize for the uh, darkness in this corner. There is not a light here. I'm hoping at some point to put a little light right there, a little spotlight. Um, but what do you guys think? This is my three Jokers wall. I decided to collect the Jokers covers, not the um, other cover like Batgirl, Red Hood, and Batman. And these are the variant covers that we're looking at. So let me go ahead and give you some close-ups of these. These are all 9.8. That's book three there. This is actually book one, but it's the second printing. Um, I didn't like the book three with the uh, the Joker head with the tomato on it. Uh, so I decided to get this variant instead because I love sharks. And so I thought this would be a lot cooler. And then I got this one, 9.8. This is again, book three. Then we have book two, 9.8, book two, book two. And then book one here, here love that cover and here okay then my plants so these are all the variant covers there and then around the front is where i'm going to put the main cover so this is book two um, i do have a little boo-boo there that's going to be covered by book one and uh, that is a cgc signed by jason fabok so that'll be a yellow cover and then i have book three 
which I just ordered yesterday, and it should be here in the next week or so. So these are gonna be the three main covers, and then all the variants over here on the side. So what do you guys think of this CGC wall? Um, I did uh, put these up, if you're curious, I did put these up with uh, 16 pound command strips. Um, I have had no trouble. I, I've heard some collectors over a couple years, they might uh, need to readjust or um, maybe put new strips. So I'll, I'll double check them each year, maybe every six months to double check. Um, but in my experience in this uh, condition of my room, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. But I think that'll be a lot of fun with the CGC wall right there. Three jokers, I love all the covers. And uh, art back here, I did show you this last time. But this, of course, is the Gray Campulo Scott Snyder um, art print. Uh, 2018 is when I got this at Planet Comic Con in Kansas City. 12 of 25. Absolutely love this print. It's beautiful. Sorry about the uh, glare from the lights. But so I have this little art cove back, basically back here. I've decided to collect the Joker covers in CGC. Um, and I'll show you some more here in just a bit. But I think that turned out pretty darn nice. Okay. So then next up in the room tour, uh, we have the uh, the infamous black chair here. This is where I chill out and uh, rest up and, and enjoy my collection. A lot of times this is a catch-all for boxes and statue parts and things like that. And right now it's uh, got the massive new turntable for my uh, channel. Uh, you can just see how really how big that is. But um, hopefully I'm... I'm hoping to spend more time in this chair and relax and enjoy myself. I'm always so busy working on the channel, but um, I need to take more time in 2021 and just chill. So here's the infamous closet. And as you can see, it's still a closet. Um, I'm still hoping to paint the trim white this year. And again, I had that stand out in the hallway out front here, and I was going to use it for a potential dark night display. Um, and I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. But uh, right now, I think my plan still will be to remove the doors and make this into a big Joker display inside of that closet. Um, but time will tell. We'll kind of see how things go. But I know you guys have been waiting pa very patiently for this moment right here. So this is my new one third display. Uh, last time we uh, visited together, um, I had a few pieces on here. And as you can see, I've added quite a few more. I have big plans for this display. Uh, is this where it's going to stay or will it become my new display um, when I do all my reviews? Uh, I'm curious as to what you guys think. I'm gonna definitely ask for your opinion and your thoughts on this as we go. But uh, let me go ahead and come a little bit closer to so you guys can see all of this. And let's start with this guy right here. This, of course, is the incredible Batman Who Laughs, Prime One Studio, one-third scale. Um, it just won a whole bunch of awards at the Batsy Awards, best male statue, best base, uh, I believe statue of the year. Just absolutely incredible piece from Prime One, and it's really one of the absolute best pieces I've ever seen in my life, and one of my absolute all-time favorites in my collection. There you have the Robins there. Just insane how good this guy looks from top to bottom. And look at this head sculpt. It's just, <laughs> it's just crazy, guys, how good this thing is. Um, but my plan here, again, is to have Batman surrounded by his villains. And again, I'll show you um, my thoughts here in just a second. But that's the Batman who laughs. Right next to him, this is not his home. This is not where he's going to end up. Um, but I do want to share with you the incredible Queen Studios one-third scale Joker. Um, this is absolutely one of my favorite pieces in my collection. If you guys watched my uh, top 15 video, you know how much I love this thing. It's absolutely incredible. Sorry about the, the lighting in here. It's definitely a theater lighting in this room. It's something that I hope to improve over time. Doesn't always, uh, you know, bode well for, for YouTube, but um, this thing is just absolutely incredible. So my thinking right now is in the closet area to have a Ledger Joker display. I'm going to have him. I've also ordered the um, Prime One one third scale Ledger Joker. Um, and I'm also planning on, <laughs> depending on price, uh, ordering the Infinity Studios life size bust. So you can imagine the life size bust in the middle, 
flanked by both the one thirds. I've also ordered the Queen Studios one four scale Ledger Joker. I did get the sculpted. Uh, I couldn't justify paying eight hundred dollars more for the rooted hair, uh, and I do have a rooted hair piece here, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and the bust would be rooted hair as well. But anyway. Can you guys kind of envision what that's going to start looking like? Uh, I think it'll be an awesome display. I also have the clown masks still. So time will tell. We'll see. Um, but I want to know your thoughts in the comments, what you guys think about that uh, idea. Okay. So let's move on to this beauty here right here. This, of course, is the Poison Ivy one-third scale from Prime One Studio. And if you guys think she looks good on camera... She looks way better in person. Uh, this is a piece that uh, does not photograph well. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't know if it's the color of her green skin, but this is an absolute beautiful piece, and it does check off my Batman surrounded by his villains, because this is definitely one of his villains. And just look at the detail on this, guys. It's just insane how good it is. Is it obnoxiously big? Yes. <laughs> Did it need to be this big? No does tell a story of course um just absolutely beautiful piece um i never never forget when i first saw her rendered god it was probably like six or seven years ago and uh to have her finally in the collection just means the world to me but she looks absolutely stunning absolutely of course i do have the ex over here so here's the cat with the uh, catwoman briefcase so uh, hopefully we'll get a Catwoman here this year in 2021. So there is Poison Ivy. Okay, let me give you one more look at her face. So beautiful. And then right back behind her is the incredible one-third scale Deathstroke. One-third scale Prime One Studio. And just take a look at that. I did build this case to accommodate him. He's almost butted right up to the ceiling, um, but I did measure for him and Bane. And I mean, just look at this. This is such an underrated piece. It is absolutely fantastic. This is the exclusive that we're looking at right here. And then the base itself is just insane. It's, it's big, it's probably too big in my opinion, uh, but the skulls and the Reaper, the sickle broken back there, just everything about this is quality. It's prime one at its finest very dynamic a lot of great swap outs for this with the swords and the guns it just looks really good um, you guys might also notice the the lines on the back wall you might ask about that um, we did have some water come in through the foundation on the front we've since fixed it i just haven't uh, painted yet but uh, that's what those lines are back there because um, i'm sure somebody's going to ask but we fixed it uh, right over here, I want to show you uh, another Joker wall that I'm working on. Uh, this, of course, is the incredible Lee Bermejo 9.8 that ins that's uh, inspired by the statue. And uh, 251 here, 9.8. This is a facsimile reprint, but had to have some Neil Adams, right? And then, of course, this incredible Ryan Brown cover 9.8 uh, given to me by Eric absolutely fantastic so this is basically going to start a new joker cover area i still have room for i think six more right there so this is going to be my cgc joker wall um and uh, that helps me focus too instead of doing all the covers i love it's just going to be all the joker covers i love so really really fun Okay, so there's Deathstroke, and then boom, here we go. Right next to Deathstroke, we have the incredible, insane Bane. This shelf was literally built for him. Uh, the top of the shelf is uh, higher than my chest, to give you an idea how big it is. Uh, let me kind of zoom in for you guys here, so you guys can really see just how incredible he really is from top to bottom. Thanks to everyone that uh, watched the review in 2020. Of course, it has the incredible Batman on it, one-third scale. Uh, this thing is uh, crazy. Um, and, you know, having him up high like this, it was necessary. But you do miss out on the Batman. Um, but I did want to show you what he looks like up top. Of course, uh, here's his regular portrait, which is great. But I just don't know how you can compete with that right there. It's just insanely good. To me, it was EX or fail. Just my opinion, of course, but really incredible statue. Ugh, just absolutely, and look how good they look together. Look at Bane, Deathstroke. You can really see how much bigger Bane is, but it's definitely in scale with the rest of the third scale line. 
Oh, just incredible. Okay, let's move on to the next piece. This, of course, is the incredible Lee Bermejo Joker. Just look at this insanity here. Um, definitely, right now, my favorite piece in my collection. I love it. Uh, it's just insanely good from top to bottom. And, of course, it does have this incredible base and these incredible head sculpts, which did win best head sculpt on the Batsies for these incredible sculpts. The fact that you get the stands, you get the sculpts, it's just insane. And again, that, that portrait right there, Lee Bermejo. Um, some of you don't like this statue because the coat is black. Again, it was like that in the, in the comics. Um, so, but I do feel like it is the best Joker statue to date. But it's just absolutely incredible. So I'm going to kind of zoom back again. Again, that Ledger Joker won't be there. This is just a uh, temporary spot. Um, my plan right now is right next to Ivy to have the Fabok Batman from Prime 1 Studio, one-third scale. I'm hoping the cape doesn't billow up too much, but I think it'll be fine and not cover up Bane too much. Uh, right next to him, then behind Batman Who Laughs, should be my Poison, or excuse me, my Harley Quinn, uh, one third scale from Prime One Studio. That's the one with the big clown base, and uh, hopefully she won't block too much of Joker. Um, I can also scoot somebody over. I could scoot Bane over a little bit and still have room for another premium form, or excuse me, another uh, third scale up there. Uh, I'm thinking that'll probably be Talon. I think Talon would probably look really great up high, um, and but we'll see. So basically, I do have another room, another, uh, I do have more room for another statue up there. Uh, probably, again, the two on the middle shelf, and maybe spaces for two, depending on base size, uh, up front. I'm um, also looking at that Fabok Penguin. Um, so again, my vision of Batman surrounded by his villains, time will tell, but I think it's coming together really nicely. So you guys know my main display over here I've had for years on the channel. Um, I'm thinking about moving this display over here. And I really want to know your thoughts about that. Do you guys think it's time to change it up and put this display? If I did, I might paint it black um, to match over here. Or I could leave it white too. I want to know, I want to know all your thoughts. I, I really need some guidance here. But do you guys think that this right here should be my main display? Um, that you know, when I sit on the table or I do the reviews, that this is what's in the background. Or do you think I should leave the OG setup? If I, uh, I'm not going to get rid of this setup though. If I move, if I move it, this setup will go over here in this cove. Although I don't know if I could do the bus on both sides. I don't think I have the room. But I'll still have that set up just right here. What do you guys think? Please let me know what you think. Okay. So a few other things I didn't show you is I have some more uh, 9.8s. I don't really know where I'm going to put them yet. I did have them up on the wall, but uh, I decided to do the Joker covers instead. Um, this one was given to me. This was my very first one I ever received, and this one I got from Dan Default from Wayne Manor North. So, Dan, I still blame you for all of this uh, insanity, but uh, I love you, man. You're, you're just so awesome for, for doing this. And then, of course, I did pick up a Batman 700 9.8. I do have, let me kind of come over here. I do have a uh, Batman Who Laughs, number one, 9.8. Uh, I did end up getting this one signed, so I am going to sell this particular one. And then I have my second uh, 9.8 of this incredible cover by Lee Bermejo. Um, so I do have two of those, one up there, and I have an extra one here. So um, just some extra CGCs I thought you guys would enjoy seeing. And speaking of CGCs, let's move over here to my CGCs. These are my sign collection. Uh, this is my signature series. This is Batman 614 from The Hush, and it's signed by, uh, of course, the absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, just I, I, I still can't believe I have this, but of course, this is Jim Lee, um, and has three signatures on it. Again, I apologize for the glare here, guys. I also have my old school uh, Collector Verse from 2017 award. Uh, I actually have three of those. Thanks for voting for me for the different awards for those back then the day. Uh, I also have, of course, my 9.8 Killing Joke. Um, this is the first print signed by Brian Boland. And I absolutely love this cover. And here's a signature if you guys want to see it up close. And then last but not least, my Batman Who Laughs, number one. I just showed you guys, but this is the signed version by Jock. And there's his signature right there. 
Uh, I also recently purchased uh, one of the Sideshow emblems, so I have that. I don't know if this is where it'll end up or not, but that's where it is for right now. And in my uh, rotating display case here, my uh, of course, my brand new Robin. I, I'm hoping he sticks around for a long time because I really like him. He's super dynamic, super fun. I finally, okay, so everybody gave me a lot of crap on the uh, review, and rightfully so. I had the barrel on backwards, so the barrel is now correct. And I also did a really crappy job, so I apologize to Tim Hansen at Sideshow uh, for doing such a poor job on the cape. It was just, I literally reviewed it out of the box. Um, but I posed it now. I think it looks a lot better, a lot more dynamic with the cape flowing outward. And just an awesome statue. Small, but effective. And I really like what Sideshow did here. I also decided to hang up a piece of art. Uh, I did that this week. This is my uh, Del Auto. Uh, again, I really apologize for all the glare, but this is my Dell Auto print. Um, absolutely love it. I believe I got this from B Bulletproof Comics, if I remember right, a couple years back. Uh, just such a great print. Ivy, Joker, Penguin. Um, and again, I apologize for all the glare there, but I think it looks really good there. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it works right there? I think it does. So that's kind of my top shelf. This top shelf will change uh, probably where Robin is. That will eventually be um, the one-third scale Iron Studios Joker uh, with the uh, peeled face. Uh, that was supposed to be here in December, but it got delayed because of uh, worldwide events. But uh, that's probably where it'll go right in front of the uh, the Batman hush here. So let me go ahead and show you the hush Batman again. I've decided to keep this guy. Um, I really want the hush Batcave from Prime 1. I haven't ordered it as of this recording. I just don't know where I'm gonna put him, but I just love him. I mean, he just still works up high. If you have him down low, I don't feel like he works. But if you have him up high, I still feel like he is like guarding my bat cave. He is the guardian of this cave. And he still just works so well, in my opinion, up high um, that I have him up here on this shelf. But I, I just really love this Batman. I still feel like it uh, deserves a place in the bat cave here. Of course, Jim Lee looks fantastic. Now the scales don't work very good. You know, I've got this fourth scale Robin and a giant Batman up here. So again, I think that one third Joker is going to go right there from Iron Studios. Uh, it's got a low profile base, so I think it'll fit there. No problem. Uh, I think I showed this to you guys all last time, but this of course is my uh, Diamond Select mini bust collection here. Um, I have all of them, except as you can see, I still don't have the um, masked version of Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, they did finally re-release that one, and so I have it on pre-order, so that eventually will be swapped out. So I'll be selling that version, but uh, I just love the way this looks. Uh, I still look at it every day, and uh, it's just still, it's just a fun piece. It's a very small compared to the rest of my collection, but... Uh, again, it's Batman surrounded by his villains, and that's what I love. That's my theme. Uh, I also, down here on the shelves, I've got my Batman Omnibus. I don't know if I have anything new since last time. I probably do. I think maybe that Absolute Lo uh, Luther and Joker might be new. Maybe the Absolute Arkham Asylum. I think I had Killing Joke last time. Um, but I've kind of been slowing down on my purchases with those. Uh, I did get an Amazon gift card, so I might be purchasing that. Um, so anyway, uh, there's the uh, first annual Batsy Awards right there. I'm going to get a nameplate for uh, Statue of the Year. So I'm hoping to have a whole bunch of those over the years, which would be really fun. And then just on the bottom shelf, I've got all my comics. I need to organize them, but uh, my collection has definitely been growing recently. And a lot of that is thanks to uh, collectors like you guys that have sent me books. Um, my collection has really grown, so I just I really appreciate when you guys do that. You don't ever have to feel like you need to do that, but... Man, I love getting uh, stuff from you guys, and uh, especially if it's books that I don't have locally, because I, again, I don't have a comic book shop near me. So, Amazon really is the only way for me to go. But uh, anyway, so this is kind of this little cove. So let me kind of pan again, so you, so you can see kind of the whole thing. So that's kind of what that looks like. And I'll come over here. So I don't really have any plans right now for this part of the bookshelf. Uh, it's just going to be kind of overflow for now. Um, possibly more books as I get them in. We'll kind of see. I also don't have anything still for my, um, for my gun shelf. So this, I, I talked about it last time. I thought, well, maybe um, this could be my Batman sanity. Well, I didn't end up getting it um, because I just didn't feel like the size was going to fit as well in my collection. So this is still an opportunity for a big piece, maybe a half scale. 
uh, maybe a life-size bust at some point. We'll kind of see. I even thought about maybe seeing if the new 52 Batman would fit inside of there. What do you guys think? Would, would it look cool in there and then hush above it? Different scales. But again, I want to know your thoughts, your ideas for this case. I know you guys had some great ideas last time, but uh, again, I haven't gone there yet. Um, I would take the doors off, put some lighting in there. We'll see. Um, speaking of the new 52 Batman, <laughs> just look at this thing. Uh, it's still one of my favorites in my collection. It's kind of this oddball piece out because it doesn't fit in my main case. Uh, it's massive. It's amazing. It's dynamic. And it's just a mind blowing piece right now i just have it on this uh this bookshelf stand uh it's not finished or anything like that um and that's that's where it is i know it drove the the guys in the rose gallery uh group a little crazy because it doesn't balance out to the other side over here um but that's where he is for right now um i, I wanted him front and center but i just don't know for sure where to display him I also have a little bit of art. Again, this will probably end up uh, back. Oh, there's a little Batman peeking out. I forgot I had him back there. A uh, bust. I don't really know what I'm going to do with him. My intention was to get the Joker too, but he doesn't fit very well on the white shelves. So I'll probably sell him, unfortunately, but I like him. Uh, I got some Joker art here, and I've got my signed Neil Adams art print back here. I showed you guys that last time. This Joker uh, print here is new. Um, got that at Hobby Lobby. Love it. So let's move on to the Joker bust. You guys are very familiar with this piece. Um, I am planning on picking up the new Joker bust from Sideshow. Uh, I'm going to compare and contrast the two so you guys can see um, which one works better in the collection. I really like the new one. It's a little bit more cartoony. This one is definitely more realistic and terrifying. Um, so I don't know. We'll see which one wins out. I don't think I have room for both of them. So one of them will probably stay. One of them will probably go. But uh, time will tell. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, that Joker <laughs> creeping over my shoulder every single time I do a, a video. So anyway, uh, let's look at this. This case has actually changed a lot. I thought it hadn't changed all that much, but it actually has a lot. Um, I, the, the last video, I think I had the OG Harley, the OG uh, Harley Quinn, or excuse me, OG Harley Quinn and OG Poison Ivy. Um, and I didn't have the newer uh, statues, Freeze and Scarecrow. I don't even know if I had the new Catwoman in that video or not. But uh, let's take a look. Let's take a close-up look at this display. So again, this is how I have it currently set up. Uh, I know this is kind of what I'm known for in the community. Um, but let's take a look at it. Of course, Killer Croc. We've seen him lots before. Uh, I'm still hoping that Sideshow will do an updated Killer Croc. This one's still great, but um, the base is too big. In my opinion, it takes up a lot of real estate. And uh, it's still a great piece, but I would love to see them try to do a little bit bigger version. Maybe a Daniel Bell Killer Croc. Daniel Bell, if you're watching, hint, hint. Then we also have this one. This is one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, the beautiful Poison Ivy Sideshow Collectibles. Again, this whole case is Sideshow. Beautiful statue. Absolutely love her. I think she's incredibly sexy and beautiful. Very sensual and and really, just I think one of the best Ivies ever in the history of of, of the sculpt. Uh, back here is another one of my absolutely all time favorites. I've got Scarecrow uh, and I love him. Uh, sometimes I don't like that he's kind of blended into the background here, um, just because I feel like he should be front and center. But he needed to be up high in my opinion, so I have him up here on these uh, cubes, display cubes. Um, a lot of people have asked over the years, what are those cubes that I use? And they're old, believe it or not, uh, they're old Beanie Baby cubes that my mom had laying around uh, when she collected Beanie Babies. So, yeah, that's what those are. Uh, and look at that. It's it just, look at that. It is insane how good this base is. I think it's one of Sideshow's best bases of all time. I just love it. I love the Scarecrow. I love everything about it. The colors. Just it makes such a great impact guys. Don't ever hesitate to pick this one up and just do it uh, We do also have a new Harley in the case since last time I gave a room tour I absolutely love this Harley. This is one that I waited and waited and waited forever to get and I'm so glad I finally did now I am getting the hell on wheels uh, she um, we just got production photos of her so she should be shipping very very soon I will be reviewing her and uh, contrasting her with this piece, which piece will end up in the case. That's very hard to say.
Maybe one of them will end up over here. Maybe that'll be my overflow for my slideshow pieces. Pieces that I love, but I can put them right there on that shelf. Eh, we'll see. But again, just look at that. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful face. All right, so now we have the Joker, of course, my OG piece. And I love it. Uh, I am, I think, going to get the uh, Joker on Pogo to uh, compare and contrast these two pieces. I, I think I'm finally going to bite the bullet and do it. But uh, we'll see. But, I mean, come on. It just doesn't get any better than that. Killing Joke Joker, for sure, inspired. And uh, Sideshow's original PF piece for the DC license. So I've had this one for a long time. Uh, I think the last review, I think, uh, I had... I might have had the OG Batman still, I can't remember, but this is the newer version. I love him. I love the new blue blue version as well, but uh, this one, I'm so glad I finally picked him up. A lot of these I hesitated on. I wasn't really ready for change, but uh, I'm really glad I did on all of these pieces because I feel like they're all amazing. Not to say that these aren't, but um, you know, I just absolutely feel like the OG pieces are fantastic. But I love the new pieces, and I'm really glad that I went ahead and bit the bullet on all of these. Really great. And then we also have Catwoman here. Um, lovely addition to this display. I love her so much better than the OG piece. Um, great detail. Just really, really nice. Really thin, low-profile base, which I really appreciate. And, you know, nice sculpted body. She just looks really great, in my opinion. I really like what... Uh, Sideshow did with this one. Really nice. Of course, Mr. Freeze is a new addition to the case this year, or, la or last year, 2020. Uh, I'm really hoping that we get some new announcements from Sideshow for some more villains. I would absolutely love to see more, but I'm so happy for Scarecrow and Freeze. Just amazing pieces from Sideshow. Just look how good that looks. Man, he looks good, especially against that backdrop. Uh, then this Bane. Uh, I have a feeling Bane will not uh, be in my case very much longer. Um, I did buy the Daniel Bell Bane. Um, I love this Bane. He's still an absolutely fantastic sculpt. Um, after having him next to my um, <laughs> Bane over here, you know, my, my new Prime 1 Bane, uh, it's just hard to top that piece. So this guy I'm sure will probably be leaving the collection. I didn't ever think I would say that, um, but this is where the Daniel Bell piece will go. It'll go right here and uh, change him out. I probably, if I still have this Bane, I'll do a comparison video so you guys can see him side by side. Uh, there's my Brotherhood of the Bat logo disc uh, that it, uh, a collector uh, made for me. So thank you very much again. But let me kind of show you again the whole case. There it is. There it is. So again, should I leave this as my main display or should I move it and swap it out with that? I want to know your thoughts, guys. I really need your help with that. Let me know. Uh, of course, I have my uh, OG Batman bust. You notice I did not replace it with the newer version. This is still one of my all-time favorite pieces in my collection. It just speaks Batman to me. Very stoic. I love the sculpt. And to me, this uh, signifies my collection for sure. But just an awesome piece. Absolutely love it. Then let's uh, go here. So there's uh, one change in my Arkham line. Let's see if you guys can see it, uh, what it is. Um, but uh, we'll start right here with the Deathstroke. So again, you guys have seen these before. Uh, I do swap these pieces out from time to time. But again, the uh, Arkham line is absolutely incredible and expanding now that uh, Prime One is doing some Arkham City pieces. There's the Slade Wilson head right there. Really cool. And then a Killer Croc head right there with the Killer Croc statue. Still absolutely insanely big. Um, and as big as Bane, believe it or not, which is pretty crazy. Not as bulky, but uh, still an incredible, incredible statue from Prime 1. I still feel very lucky to own this piece. Arkham Origins right there. Now this guy right here, you notice somebody's missing. Uh, this is where Azrael was. Um, I did sell him, and I'm in the process of selling Noel, even though that kills me, because I absolutely love the statue. Um, but I just don't have the room for him, because this is where the Arkham City Poison Ivy is going to go. Uh, I needed space for her. I needed one slot, so Azrael had to go. 
And uh, I don't have room, unfortunately, for him, so he's going to be gone too. If anybody is interested, please hit me up, um, and uh, we'll get this shipped out to you. Um, I wish I could keep him. I wish I could have just a whole Batman wall display, but uh, right now I just don't have the room. But I do love him. Of course, Lee Bermejo, Batman Noel. So Ivy's going to go here. Then I have my Scarecrow. Still an absolutely fantastic piece here. Uh, just incredible. Let me see if I can get a little bit better deal. There we go. There we go. See a little bit of that face detail. He's hard to see under certain lighting, but just an incredible piece again. Prime one. We have the Arkham Knight. Still one of my favorite pieces in my collection. My wife doesn't understand why. <laughs> she does not like him, but uh, Anyway, still love this piece. So that's kind of what those guys look like right there, all together. And then we'll move on to the OG piece. This is my original Prime 1 piece. Still very happy with it. Arkham Knight Batman. Still love the detail. Still love the Prime 1 quality. Just absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, he is right next to his arch nemesis, the Joker, the Arkham Knight Joker, Mark Hamill. Still love this piece. Does it hold up to the Bermejo Joker? No. I still think the Bermejo Joker is a much better Joker, but I still would not part with this one. I love it. Absolutely love it. I also have the uh, exclusive here that you can only get at the Prime 1 store, of course, that's Scarface. Really glad I got that one. Definitely worth it to me to add one more villain to the collection. <laughs> So we're not going to get very many Scarfaces, I don't think. I wish we had a whole bunch. I also have a couple of the swap outs here. Just really great. Harley. So I did order uh, the uh, Arkham City Harley from Prime 1. Uh, so that leaves me with a conundrum here. Um, I absolutely love this Harley. And I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to put the Arkham City one. So will, will this be replaced? Man, I really don't know. But time will tell, I guess. So that's what these guys look like right here. And let's move on to the incredible Mr. Freeze. There he is right there. This insane statue from Prime 1. Uh, there's my Nora dome that I super glued back together. <laughs> I do have the uh, replacement dome from Prime 1, but uh, if you guys watched my last video, I super glued it and it actually ended up making it look like frost on this glass. So I kind of liked the shattered look. But uh, there's Nora right there, um, and uh, the incredible base looking great. Then, of course, we have Catwoman here as well. Beautiful statue. I feel like she kind of gets lost in the shuffle a little bit because she's so black on her costume, but still a very worthy statue in my opinion. I think she's beautiful, and that face sculpt, I mean, just look at that. And speaking of face sculpts, whoa, <laughs> beautiful to ugly, but uh, I love this thing. Uh, still one of my wife's all-time favorites. One of my all-time favorites, too. I just still love it. So well done. Two-Face did come with the coin, which is awesome. The details on, this st on the statue still amaze me. So last but not least, we have Bane. Here you go, Mercenary. Um, I've decided to keep him for a while. I don't really need to keep him. Um, so if they come out with another Arkham City character that uh, needs the space, this guy would go. Uh, especially when compared to the new Bane that I just got. Uh, this one doesn't hold a candle, but it's still an awesome version of him. And something different, too. But uh, anyway, let me kind of zoom back here so you guys can see the whole collection, kind of what... What I see with this lineup. Again, this is where my table usually is for my reviews and things like that. So, uh, let's see. Last but not least here, I have uh, my badges. This is my Dark Knight's Metal event badges. Uh, my different badges from Comic-Cons over the years. My press passes and things like that. Um, I was supposed to have a couple more this year for Dallas and Kansas City and Denver. Um, but, of course, COVID hit and, uh, you know, 
hopefully I'll be able to add some more press passes uh, and bring you more coverage for the channel uh, over the next year. We'll see. Hopefully things will get back to normal. Uh, let me give you again a good pan here of the collection. Again, my biggest thing is, uh, what do you guys think of my new CGC wall? What do you guys think of the idea of displaying this collection over there? Swapping it out? Um, I really, I just don't know if I could do it. Like, I feel like it's going to be tough. This one obviously has more depth to it, so you see how it sticks out. Um, some people have suggested, like, redoing the cabinets so these two smaller ones are even with the ones in the back. Um, that would take some effort on my part for sure to build some more shelves. But uh, what do you guys think about this being my new backdrop? Of course, I could put the table right here, I guess, and film this way and maybe not even move it. But uh, do you guys feel like this should be over there and this over here? What do you guys think? Um, I am open to any suggestions, any ideas um, of what you guys think I should do for this with this room and make it better. I'm always looking to improve um, and I'm always looking to make it uh, mu more museum-like. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this uh, overhead light again and kind of uh, show you kind of the museum quality that I have when um, all those lights are off and just my main overhead lights. Definitely gives it kind of a museum feel in here. And let me know what you thought about the uh, closet idea with just the ledger jokers. Um, that'll also help me, I think, uh, keep a focus, which as you guys know is very, very difficult to do. But anyway, so there is my room tour 2021. It's hard to believe it's finally here, um, but thank God it is. And uh, I'm very excited. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you enjoyed the room tour. If you did, please give this video a like. Also subscribe if you haven't done so. And please leave your comments down below. I love to read each and every one. I always try to respond to as many as I possibly can. Um, and again, I just love you guys. You're amazing. Thank you for your continued support on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this little room tour today. Again, January of 2021. That's where I'm at right now. Of course, I can't wait to see where I am um, You know, mid-year. And uh, then probably we'll do another room tour at the very end of 2021 as well. Because uh, I have so many pieces that are coming to the Batcave. And uh, pieces that I have ordered. Pieces I haven't even ordered yet. Uh, I'm just so excited for all of them. But uh, anyway, again, let me give you one more quick close-up of this area here. So you guys can see what it's looking like so far. Again, you can imagine Talon up top. Harley Quinn. Penguin. And then I'm going to give you one more last look here at my main case. So again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. Happy New Year, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.